So I'm dumb. Uh, this is level 4-2. This is the one where I uh, pulled in a human partner. Or is this the one where I pulled in a human partner? No! I did this one by myself. It took me about 50 fucking tries to get through this. Um, this is the one with the laser things on the ground. The best way to do it is go to the left and go to the... And, uh, this is another area where you have to get three plates to move on. And okay. they're scattered throughout the level. And you can do them in whatever order you want. And that laser thing kills you in one shot. And she was dumb enough to run out into it. Like, okay. they should have programmed the AI to never get hit by it, period. End right. of story. Yeah. But she gets hit by a lot. So you have to kind of coach her through it. <laughs> which is beyond frustrating. To mm -hmm. learn her quirks. Okay. Not only do you have to worry about getting hit by it yourself and the enemies. You have to fucking hold her hand. hold her by a fucking leash it, oh god I'm just getting frustrated thinking about this shit <laughs> so the best way to do it is go to this back left corner because as soon as you get there you get a checkpoint and that's helpful okay um and then go to the one that's closer and then um when you're looking down on the map or when, when you first start off there's one to the right and you get a checkpoint when you go to that one um Oh, I forgot to also mention... Or, or, I didn't take advantage of this, but whenever you put one of the plates into the main door that leads to the next area, you uh -huh. get a checkpoint. And I didn't take advantage of that, like the dumbass that I am. Hey, you're usually pretty good about that kind of stuff. I, yeah, I am, typically, but um, there's no lazy way out of this. So <laughs> I just uh, powered through it. And... Uh, she has been known to die when she jumps up top to get that first plate as well. So, you know, the, the reason I go for this back left corner first is for the same reason that I went for the, um, the hardest island first. It's because, you know, if you fuck up, the, the, you have the highest chance of fucking up on that one. And to prevent wasted time, it's best to go to that one. Okay. Anyway. So you run back. And you can run to the very end between each uh, laser burst, but if you do, she will not duck into cover quickly enough, and she will get killed. So don't run out to the next little um, holding area until she has caught up with you, because she will get killed. Okay. If you paddle the school canoe, <laughs> she will get killed. Um, there's gonna be three bow and arrow guys up top, and one archer or one, one like melee guy. <laughs> okay. And then as soon as you shoot one of them, there's gonna be like three or four guys that jump down to the left. And of course, even though like she's theoretically made it to the next area, she's dumb enough to just kind of stand out in the open and get her. Like, like it's just. Um, Did she die right there? It's frustrating because no, I healed her. Okay. But you have to be like, I was lucky to be basically standing on top of her. Yeah. Because, like, um, I guess you haven't played this game enough to really know how the health system works, but you have a small window to save their life. And, uh, you really don't have the opportunity to run and save them. You have to be right next to them. And, uh, it's just frustrating because they clearly did not... Capcom didn't tune this game for one person to play. Which is... I don't know. Like, co-op is... Typically, co-op in games is easier. Right. And not everybody has Xbox Live. Mm-hmm. And not everybody likes playing split-screen. Right. So, it's... I don't know. Like, we... I talked about this in a previous video, but it's just frustrating to me that... They didn't... You're punished for not... That I'm punished for... Playing at stock, basically. Basically, yeah. And that instead of fine-tuning this, they spent their resources on finding a way to charge for DLC within a couple weeks of the game coming out. Mm -hmm. DLC, that was a very small add-on. A couple of megabytes of data to the... Yeah. To the total game. Like, 
fix the fucking AI, and then maybe I'll think about it. <laughs> maybe. I, no, you won't. No, I won't, because as soon as I'm done, done with this guide, it, this is going back uh, to the trade. No, it's instead. going to explicit D's house. Oh, right. Okay. And, You're right. And then we're trading it. Right. So, yeah. So, if you're smart, you will put the little plates in the door to the next area and get a checkpoint. Or, if you are just uh, too much of a man for that... <laughs> oh, is that what you're calling that, it? That's what it is, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm too big for that. So, it's either you're smart and you're outsmarting the game, or, but when you don't do it, you're a man. Exactly. And you're powering yeah, it's like, through. I, I was seriously two steps away from a checkpoint, and I didn't take advantage of it. It was just dumbass me. Anyway, I was I was close to a checkpoint anyway, but it still would have been smart because if she had gotten killed on this part, I would have restarted the level from the beginning. Mm -hmm. but you can only have one death, right? Two deaths? One death? Uh, oh yeah, did you read the stats for this one? I don't know if I did, but I'll read them again. 4-1, you have to kill... Oh no, this is 4-2. Uh, you have to kill 35 enemies and beat it in under 16 minutes. Um, but the um, the reason I would have restarted was because the checkpoint is so close to the beginning. Like I hadn't like the last checkpoint before the one that I got two seconds ago mm -hmm. was um, before I picked up even the first plate. So okay. it would have been worth to restart the whole level anyway. Mm -hmm. um, anyway. So, and the best way to get through this, um, waves of guys coming from all sorts of directions, is shoot the two guys at the tops of the stairs with, this, uh, with uh, shields, and then get this guy as he jumps down, and then kind of hug this wall on the right, because there will be a guy that spawns above you with a bow and arrow, and uh, uh, if you stay close to this wall, he will most likely not be able to shoot you. And then just shoot all the guys as they jump down and a couple of other guys that spawn below you and walk up the stairs. And hopefully, uh, typically Shiva will shoot the guy that spawns above you. She's kind of like a, an alarm system like that. She she knows where all the bad guys are, even if you don't. Because she really is one. Because she is, you know, controlled by the same AI that controls the computer. Or the bad guys. Skynet is what it's called. Mm -hmm. Cyberdyne. Cyberdyne. What's that? Is that South Park? No, uh, it's Terminator. I thought it was Skynet. And Cyberdyne. Oh. Huh. Don't know my Anyways, Terminator I saw trivia. The, uh, I saw the, the trailer for um, Terminator Salvation. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and it looks cool. But the only, there's only one thought in my mind the whole time I was watching it. Christian Bale's a dick. Christian Bale is a douchebag. Yep. <laughs> I just see him. I don't see him as, like, I can't see him in the same light. Really? Mm-hmm. I look right past it. Honestly. I was like, what just like I bag. look right, just like I look right past Tom Cruise being a fucking psychopath. Yeah, I guess I, Yeah. Maybe it was because I watched that or listened to that uh, rant that he did on his director of photography so many times. Oh, 